Well, it is Saturday evening and I was a really bad vlogger today. Um, we honestly stayed around the house all day. Uh, the only thing we left was once for like 15, 20 minutes. That was it. Um, I just finished getting ready. We are going to a place called Fogo de Chao tonight, which is a Brazilian steakhouse. And if you've never been to it, their salad bar is phenomenal. I'll have to take some pictures of it and show you. Like, it is so amazing. And they come around with the meat on skew on big swords and stuff like that. And it's actually pretty cool and fun. Um, oh, a couple things. I'm cleaning my jewelry back there, as you can see. Cleaning my jewelry right now. And do you guys have any idea? I found these in the back of my closet. I forgot I have them. They're fry boots. And the heel is not as high. I was cleaning these ones. And it has a buckle at the top. I have no idea what these ones are called. Any ideas, guys? No ideas. Oh, is that funny? You playing with Superman? We painted today. We did some finger painting and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so now I am, this is not what I'm wearing. I've done my hair and my makeup, but I'm gonna get changed beforehand and I'll uh, try and show you that. I'm wearing a Vince sweater with a, who is that? Club Monaco, like fur, fake fur vest with a pair of jeans, not sure which ones. My rag and bone boots is what I'm wearing, I think changed my mind a couple of times that's why i'm just wearing like a tank top right now and all my jewelry's in the cleaner um brushing my hair out i used the bigger wand on my what is it called my chow bella three in one curling set uh because i was talking to unlimited unlimited elizabeth today it was her birthday today um and i sent her happy birthday and then i was talking to her about her hair lately I've been really liking it and she used the bigger barrel which is i think is a one inch um so i did that today and we'll see how that turns out um what else oh i got another one of the anastasia the dip brow um i've got the color blonde because the soft brown was still way too dark and i have on the soft blonde right now on my eyes i have the glam glow eye palette that i did in my most recent face of the month uh l'oreal liner dior iconic mascara on my face is guerlain perfection um the smashbox Contour Highlight Palette, Tom Ford Blush, La Mercier Highlighter. On my lips is the La Mercier Pinkberry, which I think I'm going to change it, Plumberry, and the L'Oreal Jennifer um, Lipstick. But I think I'm going to change the lips. I think I'm going to go with the Too Faced Lip Liner and the same Jennifer Lipstick. I think that looks better as a mix. Uh, we are going out with two other couples tonight. Um, one is a couple of friends from in the city. The other one is one of our sets of neighbors here. Another set of neighbors that my girlfriend that I go to her house to watch The Bachelor was supposed to come as well, but they didn't have a sitter tonight, so they weren't able to make it. Um, so now there's just three couples instead of four. But um, it's a really fun place. It's definitely somewhere you go with a bunch of people. It's not somewhere you go, just two of you. We tried that once and it was not as much fun. I mean, we enjoyed it, but it's like way funnier to watch other people and like get everybody's reaction, have a lot of conversation because it's really loud in there. It's not like an intimate conversation place. Uh, so yeah, I think that's everything can't think of anything else. I think that's everything. Um, so I will take you guys along where I can.
good morning. It is noon. So I guess it's not morning anymore. Um, I am heading out to the grocery store. Uh, dinner last night was a ton of fun. Um, it was kind of hard to, not tape stuff, but it was kind of hard to show people stuff. Um, because they're so close to you when they come and do that. Um, so it's kind of funny. But uh, we had a great time with good friends. And today uh, we've honestly just been hanging around the house and playing with MJ and hanging out. Um, Marty gets up with MJ on weekends. <coughs> I don't usually get up with him unless there's some reason. Uh, Marty gets up with him and uh, so I got to sleep in this morning. Uh, yesterday and today actually both days and so we were just hanging out at the house and we just kind of went through some ideas for dinner this week figured out how we do this a lot of times this is how we plan our food I think I've mentioned this before usually we go to breakfast on Sunday mornings and kind of plan it out but uh, today we were just sticking around the house uh, it's 41 degrees out not too bad we are supposed to it depends on who you listen to. We're supposed to get some nasty storm this week. So I'm sure the grocery stores are going to be a mess. Um, but uh, we usually sit down and kind of plan out. So we kind of did that. We just sat down and figured out what days we're home. And some ideas for dinner and what some things are that we would want to eat and stuff like that. So uh, we did that. And now I'm running to the grocery store. And then in a little while after MJ gets up from his nap... We are going to go to BJ's to get some things that we need there. Not much, uh, very little stuff we need there. And then also uh, to Wegmans. And we're gonna try and pick something up that we can have for dinner tonight. Uh, and oh yeah, this is kind of funny. So last night, <coughs> excuse me, um, when we were out, I took a picture and like of me and two of our friends that were with us and two of the women that were with us and uh so many people were surprised on instagram that my hair was so long um i guess i never think of it when you guys see me in the car my hair is probably cut off about here and it goes probably a good five six inches past that in the front much less the back um and when you see me do vlogs it cuts off at around the same area or not vlogs i'm sorry um like beauty videos it cuts off around the same area so you guys don't see how long it is it is probably about I'd say five inches past the base of my like bra strap four or five inches uh, down the middle of my back the front I keep much shorter and layered I have layers all over but I keep it angled at my face and so it looks probably much shorter to you guys than what it actually is unless I have it down and pulled all in front of me at like some portion of the vlog videos, I guess you guys really don't realize it. Um, even sitting here, it seems much shorter than it actually is. So that's kind of interesting. But yeah, so not too much going on today. Not too much to show you. I uh, hope you guys are having a, oh, the grocery store is a mess. Ugh. Crazy people, man. This is so funny. These people go crazy for this. Like when they hear a storm around here and it's not even a, like it's not even gonna be bad I bet like even if it is like come on you're not gonna be stuck inside for months so I'm going into the grocery store I'll catch up with you guys later the lobster mommy lobster mommy lobster is say he coming to say hi? say hi can you say hi to him hi. say hi lobster hi. which one's the daddy which one's the mommy this mommy yeah Oh. We went to Wegmans to pick up some stuff and here's what we got for dinner. We got a chicken cordon bleu, four cheese stuffed chicken breast, and roasted cauliflower with Parmesan cheese. So we are out at Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, my mom's group had a Chuck E. Cheese thing today. Even though it was snowing and school was off, we're still doing Chuck E. Cheese and hanging out. Huh? Are you having fun? <laughs> So we're just out here with some friends and hanging out and it's pretty dead in here, which is actually the way I prefer it. So we're just gonna hang out, play some games and see how it goes. Yay, tickets! Woo! Get your tickets! Good job! Oh. 
You gotta go back to the light up colors. So, my look a little bit of a mess. My hair's a little frazzled right now. But uh, MJ took a nap after we got home from Chuck E. Cheese with my mom's group. And it is now 4.20. He just got up. He's hanging out in there having some juice. And uh, I'm just getting some things prepped for dinner. We are going to be having these flank steaks. This one is a pepper and feta flank steak. So it has uh, red pepper and green pepper in there and then the feta. And then this one's a stuffed one and it has mozzarella cheese and seasonings in it. And then, <coughs> sorry, and then I'm also going to make um, the, I don't know if I've made, I'm pretty sure I've made it before. It's this broccoli dish and it's like broccoli, garlic, lemon. And I think that's it, pretty much in there. I think that's it. Uh, the snow has an amount of temperature, it's still coming down. It's uh, not much. Like you can see the ground still and everything. It's not bad at all. I can still see the pond and everything. So uh, school was canceled today, but um, God only knows for tomorrow. So we'll just see. Uh, I'm gonna get started prepping some dinner. I have two heads of broccoli I'm starting with and I'm gonna chop them up into just like the tops. Um, these are just the the short stemmed ones, not the long ones. I also tend to take a cookie sheet and I line it with foil, which makes it easier for cleanup before I put the broccoli and everything on it. This is the size that I chop the broccoli down from the head like that. I just take it, depends on what size you like it. Uh, we kind of like them in the middle, not too big, not too small. So I chopped up the broccoli and put it in a Ziploc bag and I poured in a little bit of the Wegmans basting oil, which is just an olive oil with um, garlic and herbs and then a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning and I'm going to chop up some garlic and add that in there before I put it onto the pan. Ready and raring to go in the oven. Oven is still heating up and uh, I'm not going to zest a lemon over it this time but I am still going to put the cheese on it and pour some lemon juice Another on Another lemon it. option because uh, before I told you guys about true lemon, um, Minute Maid in the freezing, frozen, in the freezing, in the frozen section by the like juice concentrate sells 100% pure lemon juice, and that's great when you're doing something like this because you can just squirt this over it rather than having to have a lemon, and this way you always have lemon juice on hand as well. Well, hello and happy Tuesday. Uh, we are on our way out to gymnastics class. The um, gym was on a <laughs> was on a delay. It uh, they didn't have any classes this morning until 11:15, and it's almost 11 o'clock now. <clears throat> We're heading over to his gymnastics class because uh, they had that going on today at 11:15. 11:10 is his gymnastics class normally every Tuesday and 1115 was the class at the gym so um, as much as I like going to the gym it's more important for him to play at this gymnastics class than it is to go to daycare and me to go to the gym I'll try and go later um, so got up this morning Marty watched MJ while I got showered dressed and ready because his meeting got canceled this morning as well so he's just working out of the house uh, today no meetings or anything just lots of paperwork and you know phone calls and stuff so we are heading over to gymnastics to hang out for a while probably just pick up some chick-fil-a for lunch uh since it's a cold and rainy day and i don't really feel like a salad i want something warm and uh I'm trying to think oh i forgot to put darn it i had something i wanted to put in the crock pot for tonight guess i'm doing that tomorrow um i had this chicken dish i was gonna put in the crock pot for tonight but I forgot to do it this morning because we went through this morning MJ and I went through and I do this probably like once every month or two um, we went through and pulled out every toy in his toy box and all of his bins 
and I got rid of anything that he was too old for or doesn't play that much and I kind of moved things around so because we had a couple of toys from Christmas that were out sitting out because they wouldn't fit in the toy box because they were bigger um, and then I took some things that he still likes but he's not too old for um, that he doesn't play with all of the time and put them in the basement toy box and then we went through that toy box and cleaned it out and got rid of anything that was too baby little kiddish for him and put that back in my storage unit and I'll just either hold on to it um, for some of it my mom gave to me that was my niece's I'll give that back to her and I'll hold on to some of the stuff for my brother uh, who got engaged because I'm sure at some point they'll have a little one and I have the space to store it so why not uh, rather than getting rid of it if I can hold on to it for them and I moved around a lot of he has a lot of cars like things like that and I moved around a lot of those ones that he wouldn't be using now so it turned out that uh, we are not going to have the shrimp tonight because I forgot that I used the can of diced tomatoes. I thought I had two of them, but I must have used them both uh, when I made chili this last week. So instead, we are going to be having the fajita kit. We're gonna have fajitas tonight. And if you have not tried this fajita kit, the seasoning on this fajita, fajita kit is amazing. It's so good. The seasoning mix thing, it's just really, really, really good. We love these. Um, so I have some chicken defrosting and I'm gonna cut it up when it's not quite all the way defrosted from being frozen. Makes it easier to cut it into really thin slices. And also I'm gonna be making this chili sweet corn cake. Um, it's just like corn, cream corn, the mix, and some water and a little bit of butter in a bowl. And then you bake it. So we're gonna have that with it. Um, and so I'm gonna get started on the chicken's almost defrosted. Um, has any, if you guys haven't learned this trick, um, if you need something to defrost really fast that's in your freezer, you pull it out, you can put it in a bowl or in a sink with really, really cold water and put something on it to hold it down below the water level for about two hours and usually the whole thing will defrost no matter what it is, usually, um, for the most part. And it works really great in situations like this when you're like, oh no, I need that. Um, so I'm gonna make these in a little bit and this is what we're gonna have for dinner. And uh, yeah, so I had to change that up. So tomorrow I'll try and stop by Oh no, Marty's going away Thursday and Friday now. So I don't need, so tomorrow night we'll do the crock pot chicken and we'll do the shrimp one night. When he also what I'm going to do fajitas, I already had this because I knew we might have them this week, but I do the already chopped up vegetables. This is the chicken that I sliced up and now I'm just browning it or cooking it, whichever way you want to look at it. Then I'll add the seasoning package and the vegetables and let them cook down for a little bit. And the cornbread is cooking right now in the oven. So I mixed the seasoning mixture in and I'm gonna mix the vegetables in. So this is what the fajita meat and peppers and onions looks like. And this is what the corn cake looks like. And we'll just make our fajitas from here and wrap them up and MJ and I'll have one as well, but I just won't put peppers in his, he doesn't like them. But uh, he'll eat the chicken and the onions and he'll eat some of the corn cake. So I totally forgot to show this to you guys this morning. Uh, it's now 1.45, uh, MJ's down for a nap. I just got showered and dressed and ready real fast, uh, just being comfy today. Uh, we got up and I went and worked out with my trainer, and then I went to my PO box, and I got in a package that I can't show you guys ahead of time until it comes out, but I'm super excited about it. Uh, it's February, what is it? I'll be able to do a review on it. February 13th, so you'll see what I'm talking about then. Uh, I'm super excited about it, and uh, so pick that up, and what else did we do? I don't know. Oh, we came home, got a couple things done, and then we headed back and went to swim school to the gym, and then we came home and we ate lunch, and now he's down for a nap. I got charged dressed and ready, but I put the chicken in this morning for this chicken. I forget what the actual name of it is, but you use chicken in, on a bone. I've learned to stay back, um, and it has a Coca-Cola in it, and soy sauce. There's the only, it's three ingredients. That's it. The chicken, the soy sauce, and the Coca-Cola. It is, it was on low. I just turned it down to medium and, uh, or to medium, to warm. Um, and I'll keep it on that. And then you take the chicken out and then you reduce the sauce down even further. Um, so I'm excited to see how it is. Uh, I haven't had chicken on the bone in a long while at least that I cooked, you know, I'll go out somewhere, but they'll have, but haven't had it in a long while. 
um, waiting for my new phone to come in because the phone that I got last time uh, is having some issues with charging. I don't know why. So they sent me another one. That should have been in yesterday and it wasn't, but it should be in today. Editing a video I taped yesterday. I taped uh, my favorite uh, video for the month for next Monday, which actually I think you'll have seen that video by the time this one goes up. And uh, it's hard to remember that part. And uh, today we're gonna go over next door and he's gonna hang out and play with my neighbor's little boy. Sorry, the lighting is better this way. Uh, play with my neighbor's little boy this afternoon. Then we have dinner and then Marty flies out tomorrow. And oh, so we are on season seven of Sons of Anarchy and we bought it on demand so that we can watch it. Uh, I've got something in my eye, like an eyelash or something. Sorry if I keep blinking, that's why. Uh, we bought that and we've been watching that. We're only two into it. So by the time this goes up, we'll probably be done it. But uh, we watch usually two or three a night and we are like, I'm gonna be so upset when it's over. Uh, House of Cards is another one I've heard is really, really good. That is actually taped right around here where we live. Uh, Hartford County in Maryland. It's taped uh, in our downtown Bel Air, which is like two minutes from my house. And it's taped in uh, Habit of Grace, which is about 30 minutes from my house. Well, I took the chicken out. It has been cooking all day and I tasted a bite and it is awesome. And I put some sauce, I scooped some of the sauce out into a saucepan. I'm gonna reduce that down. And I kept some of the juice in the crock pot and I'm gonna put the chicken back in just to keep it hot because it's five o'clock and uh, Marty should be home in a little bit. So I'll give you a look. So this is what the chicken looks like. It is literally, like when I say falling off the bone, like, I mean, this is crazy. Like, look at this. So fall off the bone. Kept some sauce in here. I'm gonna throw the chicken back in and I have a pot full here that I'm gonna start cooking and let it reduce down. Well, good afternoon. It is about two o'clock and I am on my way to get my nails done. Uh, they are a mess and uh, need to be done. And then I am running a couple errands and I have an appointment today at the Apple store, <coughs> at the Apple store to get my um, computer looked at from that weird noise it was making, which it still is. So I'm gonna go get that looked at. I have something to return to Nordstrom Rack. I got a couple shirts uh, off Coat Look that were those Go Couture ones and I really love them and I have one on right now but two of them, one was like too big and the other one I didn't like the print and color on so those are going back and I'll show you the other two, three that I'm keeping um, later on hopefully today and uh, I'm trying to think, I think that's everything. I'm going to run into Ulta Ooh, and I want to go to Michael's to get some fun things for MJ and I do see more Michaels, any of them. Uh, just some craft things. He's really liking stamps right now, like stamping on a piece of paper. So I figured while I'm driving, because it's taking me a little bit, I'm stuck behind a bus, I would tell you guys what I have on my face. Uh, foundation is one that I'm testing out right now <clears throat> that you'll hear a little bit more about in February. Uh, middle of February, I think the 13th, I'm gonna be able to do a review on it. Um, a little bit of mineralized skin finish natural have on the smashbox uh, contour kit uh, what blush cargo tanga Laura Mercier highlighter on my cheeks under eyes was the no shadows I used as a brightener and then the glow minerals concealer Laura Mercier powder to set under the eyes. On my eyes is Becca Ombre Nude Palette, which is one of my favorites. Um, the L'Oreal liner that's discontinued. Uh, new mascara that is in the same thing that I can't, uh, that I'll be able to tell you guys about on the 13th. Let me think what else. I think that's everything. Oh, on my lips. Makeup Forever 2C lip liner and Dior, I think it's called Incognito lipstick. And I don't have any gloss on or anything yet. Just kind of run around and uh, I guess that's it. All right, can I just say, I just went into Ulta and left with nothing. I had a 20% off coupon and there was nothing that was sparking my interest. I couldn't tape after I went to Michael's. The next place I went to is to get my nails done, which this is the light color and the dark color is like, a glitter version of my Sally Hans 
Johnson impromptu blue. So it's pretty cool. The shirts that I got from Go Couture, this is one of them that I have on right here. Um, it's more of a boat neck. I just have a tank top under it. Um, this one is roses in the shape of a heart. And then I just have on my Hue leggings and socks. So the lighter pair here is the pair of fry boots that I had on today with my leggings. And these are some of the shirts from Go Couture. This one is, these things are the softest things ever. This is a tunic that also frays out a little bit. Um, looks kind of big across the back of this, but it's supposed to be like more hanging. It has the anchor on it. They have really cute graphics. Then I got this one, whoops, with the lipsticks on it. And these are all different cuts too. They're not all the same cut. I love their heathered gray too. And then one that says, love life. So that is the other one I got. This one um, is cut the same as the one I have on. But I think they're super cute. Well, good afternoon, I guess it is. It's, well, no, it's mid-morning. It's about 11 o'clock. Oh, that sun is bright. Uh, it's 11 o'clock. We just got done at his first dentist appointment and he did pretty good. He cried a little bit because he didn't understand the mask. You know how they wear the glasses, the clear glasses and the mask. He didn't understand those and that upset him. But other than that, he kept saying, ah, and opening his mouth and, you know, they brushed his teeth and they flossed and they did fluoride and all that stuff. And he was fine with all of that. And he got a prize when he was done. We go to a kid place um, and he gets to pick the color cherry sits on. And like he had got a Jake and the Neverland Pirate toothbrush. And he got a bouncy, well, he got a coin. And then he got to pick something out of the um, toy towers. They have towers like, you know, basically like if you went into a mall and they have all those like candy things but instead of candy they have toys in them like a bouncy ball and stickers and little tchotchke stuff um, and he got a book two books actually they sent they mailed him one before he got there to read to him about going to the dentist and then one now about brushing your teeth and something else I forget he was pretty funny though all day when I kept telling him we were going to the dentist this morning like I was talking about it yesterday with him and then this morning and every time I'd say it he'd say Hermie the elf dentist like from Rudolph he kept thinking he was going to see Hermie so I guess it was good timing to take him to the dentist after that Ooh, that's fun. Uh, because he had that fresh in his head from Christmas so now we are heading down into the city to my brother's house what well, yeah you got a present uh, to visit my mom and my brother he has a row home in the city a couple blocks from where we used to live and he is remodeling his bathroom himself he is handy we are not um, but his fiance and her little boy moved into the house and so he's redoing um, the little boy's uh, bathroom he's not little little he's 10 um, so he's redoing his bathroom for him and updating that so that's pretty cool so my mom was stopping in to visit with him and see it and so we are going down there to hang out with them and we might go to lunch somewhere, but I'm not sure. Otherwise, we're just gonna hang out. And my brother, you think my dog looks big? People say my dog's big. My brother has an English Mastiff that's about 180 pounds. He's insane, he's so huge. He's just ridiculously huge. His name's Cass, I'll uh, try and show him too. He, uh, he's just so big, it's so funny. He's huge, like he makes me look like I have a Chihuahua. It's so funny. So this is a little bit of what it's like in the city and living in the city and the row homes, which is where we used to live, that you used to see me tape and uh, you'd see the brick wall. It is kind of, no, it's not sunny out. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. These are just some of the row homes. This is the street my brother lives on out here. And so we're gonna head over to his house now. Come on, MJ, let's go. Let's go see Uncle Brian. Uncle Brian, it just started snowing randomly. That's weird. Okay. Well, we're heading in. Oh, sit. 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 Oh, good shake. Good boy. Say hi. I'm an old man. Oh, good shake. Oh, you're so good. Put your paw down, bud. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. Oh, you're a big boy. Oh, big doggy, big doggy, big doggy. We're just out at Mission Barbecue grabbing a bite to eat with my mom and my brother because uh, he's crackling and stuff, so we're just hanging out here. What are you going to have, Ma Grandma? And, that's my mom and my brother. That's your grandma. What are you going to have for lunch? 
What are you gonna have for lunch? Wow. Mac and cheese. And what else? And french fries. Say see you later. All right, so we used to live up the street here to the right. Um, just showing you a little bit of downtown. I have my, what's this called? The little camera holder stuck on the dashboard so you can see. And then this is taking us into downtown Canton. And we used to live two blocks off of it. And these people are just moving slow. Um, it's kind of a yucky day out. We just got done lunch. Uh, there's a lot of bars and restaurants in this little area. Um, it's really cute. I, my real estate office is down here and my brother works caddy corner to where I work down when I'm down here. So there's a square off to the left. It's all grassy area. And then over on all the rights are lots of different restaurants and places to go eat and all of that and then all the way down straight from where we are this is kind of I'll drive around the square to show you a little bit of this real quick there's a church down here on the end in front of us is a Safeway my office is right over here on the right Garso Realty and my brother's restaurant when I take a turn here on the left dangerously delicious that guy's been on TV a lot um, but right here on the right is uh, Mama's on a Half Shell. That's where my brother is the chef at. And then this is the rest of the square. And off to the left is more of the common area and grassy knoll type area where you can walk your dogs and play. Uh, but this is more of this stuff in through here. Um, that Dangerously Delicious, he is really good friends with Duff Goldman, which is Charm City Cakes uh, on the Food Channel. They're from here in Baltimore. He's from here in Baltimore too. He doesn't live here anymore, but he used to. And if you go up here to this light and you take a left, that's where we used to live, is a block down right there on the left. All right, so I kind of came back around again real quick, and I'll show you how close we were to the water as well. Is literally, if this is back where the square is over on my right right now, so I'm driving away from the square, and I don't know how soon you'll, I mean, I can see the water. Yeah, the water. I can see the water from here, but I don't know if you guys can. Because uh, it's, I'm not looking at the camera, obviously. It's on my dashboard. But this is how close we are to the water. And we used to come down here. And if you guys have followed me on Instagram for a while, you'll see the pictures. I used to walk down here with diesel all the time down along the promenade that has a uh, floating walkway down here. So this is where we used to live a little bit. And just a little bit of downtown Baltimore City in Canton, the area of Canton right down here along the water. They just added this whole new shopping center and area. Um, and this is actually where we just had lunch, but now there's a Target and a Michaels and an Old Navy and an Ulta, DSW, and a bunch of restaurant places down here. Not like nice restaurants, more like quick restaurants, like, you know, Mission Barbecue, Chick-fil-A, Atwaters. Atwaters is a local thing, actually. I take that back. Um, Farms. There's a lot of local places through here, actually. There's a Harris Teeter in here. Um, then you've got chains like on the border and things like that. So this is right down here on the water as well. Are you going to count for me? been home for a while it's 6 30 and MJ just ate dinner we're gonna order some sushi for dinner and I have been honestly working on my planner my editing and organizing for this year uh, just kind of getting all my stuff done so thank you again for watching hope you guys had a great week and catch up with you soon bye